YouTube. <laughs> what it do, man? It's Steph TV. I'm back with another video, man. And um, this one, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about it. Like, academics was, like, trending on Twitter for, like, literally the whole, like, Friday and Saturday. Like, he was wilding the F out. Like, from the podcast to the altercation, I guess that was his girlfriend. He was yelling and screaming. Oh, I'm the prize. I'm the prize. I'm the prize. And it's just like, yo, bro, you acting real, real goofy, man. And it's that that's not how you supposed to be, my nigga. Like, you know, you really not supposed to act like that, especially too when you say things like I'm the prize. You have to respect me. Um, Big act is in the building. Like, like you know, I, I'm really not like a fan of that like but before i even continue even talking about like you know the do's and don'ts and really i really want to just say like you know never disrespect women right it people got to understand this and I, I say this on every single page like everyone was talking academics is this academics is that and people don't have to realize and understand bro it's academics you know, he's the dude who thinks this is who I am because I got this amount of money. You know, this is who I'm, who I am. And it's like, yo, y'all cater to this man. Y'all watch him, right? Y'all, y'all keep, you know, giving this man power instead of just like walking away from him, right? And, and, and that's the thing, man. Like, you know, people just don't get it, bro. It's academics. You know, he's just one of those lame dudes who, like, think my money can get me far. You know, a lot of dudes are not thorough. A lot of dudes are not really, um, how do I say it? You know, they don't have integrity about themselves. You know, a lot of men don't even know that, you know. And, and honestly, too, it, it's funny when women say this. Actually, you know, we're not even going to talk about that, right? We're, we're not really going to talk about it. But, you know, a lot of men, they act like this dude. They think, like, I got this, I got that. They, they ego crazy, right? But, um, you know, one thing I really want to attack is, you know, with the Brazilian chick, right? Like, yes, you know, academics was way over the top, calling her a dude, this, that, and the third, and... People were saying, and uh, well, well, from like the fresh and fit reaction, they said, "Yo, she's Brazilian. Women like that, uh, they they have like that that voice or whatever." But you know, that's just what it is. She's not a dude. I mean, yeah, she's not a dude. You know, she has kids. She has a she has a boyfriend and whatever. But it's just that's how her voice sounds, right? And it was also too, man, Sneeko, bro, Sneeko. I, like, you know, you are going a little too hard, right? You are going a little too hard. And let me say this, though, because I don't want dudes jumping in the comment section. Oh, man, what are you talking about? She attacked him first. That's true. But I understand jokes back and forth because that's what women and guys do. They, they crack on each other, especially, too, on a platform like Fresh and Fit. But the way Sneeko was was a little too much, bro. Like, you know, a little bit too much. And and I have to salute Shorty for it because she stood her ground. She stood her ground and so did Sneeko. Sneeko did as well. We have to give Sneeko some respect too. He wasn't, there was nothing wrong with Sneeko. He was just a little too intoxicated, right? Just a little bit too much, right? And, and, and that I have to, you know, both of those people have to put out there. But with academics, man, he really went out the gate and was just swinging swinging at this girl like you know just blasting her you know telling her shut the f up and all this other stuff and it's just like damn my nigga like what is you doing like yo you 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 doing too much you do it a lot you doing a lot too much bro and it's like dang like, I'm going to say it like this. If you say you the prize and, you know, you you know, like, somewhat of this RP world, you don't move like that. 
You don't. You don't move like that at all. You move accordingly. You know what I'm saying? You you take you crack shots here and there, but you don't shoot her up. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you are doing a little too much. Now, let's go into my favorite part of the video. <laughs> and let me say this. The whole thing was funny. I was watching it like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. Because like I say, it's academics, bro. Like, nobody doesn't understand that. It, it's academics. He was always acting like this. That That's how he keeps his views up. He is the evil troll in the internet world. You know what I'm saying? People hate him, but you need him. People hate him, but you need him, right? The the chick with the fro who got exposed, right? This one was funny because... Let, let's say it like this. Sneeko did mention that she was hanging with one of the dudes on the Fresh and Fit podcast. And she was trying to be like, what? What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about right there. And then Ak exposed of of it as well right and she got mad now you know in her body language i don't know in the comment section i don't know what y'all think i think personally she did cheat on her boyfriend with one of those dudes she probably did sleep around and, and because you know her body language says it all. Like she, she was like a little shook up from what Sneeko said. She was a little shook up with academics pulled up, you know. And I'm gonna say it like this, bro. When when people act like that, that means like the truth was out there, and Ak exposed that, you know. So that's on old girl's fault. But what what academics did was the most like disrespectful stuff ever he said to that girl her kitty cat was the most loose <laughs> i'm not trying to curse on here i should because it's going it's crazy said her act her kitty cat was loose uh you know she smashed a dude for a roach if you know what that means <laughs> He told he told the girl to shut the fuck up, you know. Especially too, she only said to act like well, you were disrespectful, and and that's it. But like I said, to act man, like you don't you don't do that. Now she attacked you, and I'm saying the the chick of the afro she attacked him first, and she violated to that point. Then I can get why academics said that, but he was just. Yo, don't come on here with that fake shit. You know, Big Ack is here now. You know, that that was a little bit too much, bro. Like, you know, that was a little bit too much. And, and, and one thing, too, I just don't understand, man, like, with these, these women. And I, I've been seeing this since, like, even Blueface's um, girlfriend or ex, whatever. You women all the time bro y'all hang around these toxic dudes why do y'all do that why do y'all hang around these these toxic dudes like academics and then when y'all getting exposed and disrespected and all oh, this offensive you want to get mad that's your fault because you put yourself in that scenario that's the one thing i just don't understand with like most women bro they put themselves in that scenario but it doesn't take away from the fact from what academic says, man. Like, you don't treat a woman like that. Yeah, yeah like, even myself, right? I'm, I consider myself very RP aware, right? Oh, I don't know. Some dude was, I thought he was looking at my car. You don't consider, I'm very RP aware. And I understand that women lie, manipulate, play games. Um, whenever they boyfriend turn they back, that's who she is. Like we all get it. Like we we all we all understand that women are deep down naturally three or fours. But oh shit, what well, I was gonna say? Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't give me the right to tell a woman, you know, you you 
smashed or you know what i'm saying you messed around with over, over 30 dudes before 35 years old that doesn't give me the right to say that or that doesn't give me a right to tell a woman to shut the fuck up that doesn't give me a right to yell and scream and breathe uh breathe down her face because that's not how you're supposed to be like period right that that's not exactly how you're supposed to be you don't move like that accordingly like even when a woman disrespects you, you know what I'm saying? The the best way to walk, the best thing to do when you're in those scenarios and she's like talking out of her mouth, and this is just a prime example, is to simply walk away or put her in her place. Yo, you're not going to treat me like this. We're going to handle it this way. And if not, then I'm going to leave you alone and let you continue to do what your thought behavior. Like I always say, man, these women, man, they... They feel like they can, you know, smash as many men as they want to. They can treat men any way they want to. But at the end of the day, you have to have respect for yourself and you have to learn, OK, you don't tolerate that certain behavior, especially coming from women. And at the same time, women must have that must understand that, OK, let me not play with this boy. Let me not get in my emotions. Let me not get in my let me not get in my uh, emotions and, and completely blast at a woman like academics do. Because that's that that to me, that's beta behavior. That's not you being the prize. That's called you. You and your emotions. You think money going to handle this. You think just because we on live and I can treat you anyway, that doesn't mean anything, bro. I always say it like this. Actions is everything. And, and uh, one thing, too, I just don't... I want to just talk about the fight altercation, man. With academics, you know, pushing that girl... I, I didn't see any hits. I don't know. Maybe you guys can send me the video. Maybe I'm about to watch it again. I don't consider... I didn't see academics hit the girl. I seen her shove her and, you know, watching his girl or whoever that girl was getting hit by two other women. And he pushing her out the way. But even act then, bro, you don't you don't act like that. You don't even bring your you, I don't know why you deal with those type of, you know, thotty girls who have twenty five thousand followers who be, you know, uh, smashing and sucking these uh, SoundCloud rappers just to sleep her way to to a Drake or Migos or, or a little Dirk or anything like that. I don't know why he messes with those type of women, bro. Like I, I really don't get it. Like he, you seen like who he hangs with, the Selena Powell girl. Like he, he messes with like thought chicks that add nothing but stress to your life. And, and bro, that's not how you move if you a RP guy. It's not, right? Like when I see, when I see a woman who be you know having thoughty ways and or you know who got that uh, bitch attitude, yo, I don't even bother with that. I see that at my job all the time. I don't do that. I don't I don't hang around that. I don't even say nothing to him because this is like, you know, I don't rock with you. You don't rock with me, but I won't disrespect you. Don't disrespect me. But that's what act just does, man. And academics, man, bro, you don't you don't move like that. That's something you don't that that's real funny. That's real goofy. And as a man, bro, you, that that's, that's not not the type of chicks you should be hanging with. It's so weird and it's so lame just to put yourself in that environment you know yeah those those type of women are easy to smash right and shout out to steph is called for that those women are tight are easy to smash because all they care about is clout and numbers and all you gotta do is just tell her get on her knees and you know the rest but it's like bro you don't you stay away from them type of women bro you don't bring them around you know what i'm saying you don't you don't bring that around i don't care if you consider your girl or not Stay away from them type of women, bro. That's mm -mm, that's kind of whack. So, and that's all I really want to say. That's that, those things right there is like why you should not ever in your life like learn from academics, bro. And, and it's the messed up part. I'm pretty sure there's a a bunch of men who act like that. And, and Sneeko, bro, like this is the one thing too. Don't listen to academics, because I caught it on the video as well. Ak was like, yo, Sneeko, learn from me. Learn from... Nah, you don't learn from academics. 
Because academics don't even know what the heck. Like, academics talks with the henny. You know, that's that the like coke blabber, right? That's not how you're supposed to move like that. That's kind of that's kind of weird and phony. But you know, people gonna uh, watch him. I'm gonna watch him. Like you know, I don't watch him on an every day. If it's like if I see some negativity, if I want to laugh at something, I just go on like academics uh, page and just you know just laugh at it. But then again, too, I'll be like, all right, I'm done with that. Anyway, man, that's just my thoughts on, you know, academics, man, during that, during that time. And, uh, this is real nasty. It was real nasty, but funny. It was funny. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm out.